So another transfer window has come and gone. We've seen clubs break their transfer records and others complete deals for the future. But what about the transfers that passed us by? Here are 11 transfers you might have missed this month. Number 1. Victor Moses to Fenerbahce I vaguely remember this being mooted a few weeks back, but I totally missed a deal getting confirmed. The Nigerian international never came across as a Chelsea player, signed back in 2012 from Wigan. It was only when Antonio Conte arrived that Moses got a chance, operating at right wing back. Basically, was no one else in his squad could do it. But since Conte has been replaced by tab enthusiast Maurizio Sarri, his appearances have dwindled. He's moved to Turkey on loan with Fenerbahce, his fourth loan move away from Stamford Bridge since arriving. Number 2. Mehdi Benatia to Aldo Hale Since 2013, Mehdi Benatia has been considered a top class centre back, playing for Roma before big money moves to Bayern Munich and then Juventus. With four league titles to his name and three domestic cups, the Moroccan was considered a reliable and solid defender, although he was a backup option in Turin this season. However, if he was moving clubs, he'd still expect him to get a decent move. But no, he's headed to Qatari side Al Dahil for 8 million euros at the age of 31. Surely he could have done better. Although money talks, I guess. Number 3. Stephen Davis to Rangers All the talk was about Rangers signing Premier League legend Jermaine Defoe, but he wasn't the only player in his 30s to arrive at Ibrox on loan from the Premier League. Southampton allowed Stephen Davis to move to Scotland too, with the midfielder heading back to the club he left in 2012 following Rangers' financial collapse. He's already won three league titles with Rangers, can he add another this year? Number 4. Wesley Hoot to Celta Vigo Another Southampton departure, Ralph Hasenhutl hasn't been messing about. Hoot arrived at St Mary's in 2017 for £15 million from Lazio, but he's one player that the Saints haven't been able to make a profit on yet. The Dutch defender has made 41 Premier League appearances for the Saints since arriving, but Hasenhutl clearly isn't impressed, shipping him off to Spain as he goes in search of Premier League survival. Number 5. Kevin Prince Boateng to Barcelona Ok, everyone probably does know about this, but that doesn't make it any less shocking. I'm still lost for words, to think this is the same lad that couldn't get a kick at Tottenham, then missed a spot kick in the FA Cup final for Portsmouth. Now he's in the same team as Lionel Messi, providing backup after arriving from Sassoulo on loan. But they can sign him permanently in the summer for 8 million euros, which I'm sure they will after he single-handedly delivers them the Champions League. Number 6. John Obi Mikel to Middlesbrough so after a brief stint in China, John Obi Mikel is back on English shores, signing a short-term deal with Championship side Middlesbrough. The Nigerian is a bit of a transfer legend after the debacle that was his arrival in the Premier League, first agreeing to join Manchester United, then changing his mind and signing for Chelsea. Mikel was a loyal servant of the Blues and was always there to be called upon if they needed to tighten things up in midfield. However, I doubt he leaves Middlesbrough's goal-scoring wars. Number 7. Ramadan Sobit to Al Ali to be fair, this deal was done right at the end of December, so explains why it might have been missed, but I just thought the lad wasn't getting picked at Huddersfield. So we moved to the John Smith Stadium in the summer from relegated Stoke City, but didn't really get many chances under David Wagner. So he's gone out on loan back to Egypt, meaning he at least won't have back-to-back -back relegations on his CV when the Terriers go down. Number 8. Joel Campbell at Club Leon. The former Arsenal winger's time in Italy is over, and to be honest, I forgot he'd even left Arsenal over the summer, such as the Costa Rican's demise. In August he would sign a deal with Frosinone, but his Serie A dream is already over, heading to Mexico to Club Leon. Campbell is a curious player, as he looked so good for his country at the World Cup many years ago, but he was never seen able to cut it at Arsenal, and now he's falling even further down the footballing ladder. Number 9. Wilfried Bonny to Al Arabi Remember when Wilfried Bonny was the hottest goal scorer in England? Manchester City fans do, that's why the club spent nearly 30 million quid on him in 2015. From that moment on, the Ivorian hasn't been the same, and a romantic move to back to Swansea didn't even change things. Since his second coming in Wales where he annoyingly wore the number 2 shirt and sang his own song, goals have been hard to come by, and now he's gone on loan to Al Arabi in Qatar, with Swansea desperate to get him off the wage bill. So Al Arabi. Number 10, Lazar Markovic to Fulham. This one came out of nowhere on deadline day. With Fulham desperately needing defenders to complement their attacking flair, they decided to sign Lazar Markovic from Liverpool. I mean, I forgot he was the Liverpool player, that's how much his careers fell off a cliff. The Serbian was okay during a loan spell at Hull, but is he better than anything the Cottages have already got? At least they signed one defender, that bloke who used to be on loan at West Ham. And number 11, Christoph Piatek to AC Milan. Gonzalo Higuain coming to Chelsea was one of the biggest deals of the month, but Piatek's move to AC played an important role. 
Higuain was going nowhere until the San Siro side got a replacement, so they splashed out a huge 35 million euros on the Polish striker. Piatek had been in red hot form for Genoa, scoring 13 in 19 games after arriving from Krakowia, leading to winners from the best clubs in the world. But it's AC Milan who were able to snap him up in the least talked about deal of the Higuain Alvaro Morata transfer merry go round. So those are 11 January signings you might have missed. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.